Excellent, thank you. I am going to start sharing my screen. And um, while I do that, Bree, if you want to introduce yourself quickly. Yeah, sure. Can you hear me? Yeah. Thanks, Rami. So my name's Bree. Um, I'll be doing the graduate recruitment this year for uh, 2023 intake. Um, this is my first year in this role. Um, yeah, so a bit about me is I have um, been exposed to mining operations since I was quite little. Uh, one year for Christmas, we actually uh, went underground on Christmas Day with my dad. That was always fun. Uh, I then got my first mine site job as an operations administrator at one of our Anglo-American mine sites in central Queensland. Um, yeah, so I, I gained a lot of exposure and experience with all the departments. I, I understood exactly uh, what each department did, how it, it affected my role and how I could help them. So this really helped me get the job where I am now. Uh, yeah, so I built very a lot of relationships and yeah, so I think people understood how I could work and that's why I'm here now. Excellent. Thank you, Brie. And like, you know, you, you heard me before. My name is Romy. I'm from Argentina. I used to be a geologist in my previous life and I'm running um, graduate programs globally for Anglo-Americans. So we are thrilled to be here today and we're going to start our presentation because we are really aware of your time. So before, in, before going any further, we would like to do an acknowledgement of countries. So we would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land where we gather today and all of the lands where we operate. We pay our respects to elders past and present and to emerging community leaders. So. Our presentation today is, um, is going to have a little bit of a structure. So we already done the introduction. We'll talk a little bit about us as Anglo-American. Bree will then um, be a little bit more in depth with the graduate recruitment. I'll tell you about what we offer our graduates on a more global scale as well. And then we hopefully are going to have some time for questions. So I would like to start with showing you um, what, what we do, who we are. I don't know if, you, if you've gone through our website, but we are a, a leading global mining company. We have different types of products, which are the essential ingredients in almost every aspect of our modern life. So as you see in this slide, where we operate is mainly on the Southern Hemisphere and we're very deliberate about us. We do have some projects in, in Canada, Finland and the United Kingdom, which are you know, obviously diamonds. We got a, a mine in Canada, which is Gacho Kue. Uh, we also have, um, Peace River, Peace River Coal, also in Canada, which is coal, and it's under care and maintenance at the moment. In Finland, we, we have nickel and manganese, and in the United Kingdom, we also have um, crop nutrients, which is a recently acquired project. In the rest of the world, we also have diamonds in, in Botswana, in Namibia, in South Africa. Um, we've got copper in Peru, in Chile, also in, in South Africa. We've got platinum group metals, we've got iron ore. In Australia, we have metallurgical coal. We also have nickel and manganese. So as you can see, we are very, very diversified. And we're very specific where we operate as well. We do run graduate programs in most of these locations, except for Finland. And we also have a business unit that it's not shown here, which is our marketing business unit and they operate in China, Singapore, and the UK. And we also run graduate programs for marketing as well. So a little bit of, of um, who we are, what we do. Our purpose is to reimagine mining to improve people's lives. I know that it sounds like a really, really strong sales pitch, but how do we do that? We do this through our values. So we have six values that you can see on my screen. The most important one for us is all of them. So we don't actually have one, but we'll start with safety. We have care and respect, accountability for everything that we do. Collaboration is massive for us. We try to do all of our work with integrity and we also um, take a lot of um, interest in innovation as well. And our values is not something that, you know, in Anglo-American, you just have on your wall and you forget about it. We actually live through our values every day. I would like to show you a video, just it's a short video, but it will give you a little bit more of an insight about how do we reimagine mining to improve people's lives. So let's see if this plays. 
I can't hear anything. Oh. I've got to fix that. Just stop sharing your screen for a second, Romania. Okay. And Sorry, start, guys. That's okay. Share your screen again. And at the bottom, it will say share sound and optimize video clip. Oh. Just double, just click I'm on that and then to, you can redo it. <laughs> I'm used to doing this on um, on Teams. But I know no, that's, that's all good. All right, let's start again. Okay, enjoy the video. Let me know if you can't hear me, okay? At Anglo American, we see a world where you will barely notice some minds at all. Yet these minds of tomorrow will continue to provide the precious raw materials our society relies upon. For the past 100 years, our people have led from the front, and that's how we plan to continue with integrity, with creativity, with smart innovation, and always with the utmost consideration for our people and their families, for our customers and our local communities, for the world at large, connecting people with resources. It's how we continue to drive our industry forward pursuing better ways to mine and process that use less water, less energy, and ever more precise extraction technologies to reduce our physical footprint. It's also how we develop better jobs, a better education, and better businesses wherever we are in the world, helping to create a brighter and healthier tomorrow for our host countries. and for the billions of people around the world who depend on our products day in, day out. That's why when we look to the future, we see a company whose purpose is clear. We reimagine mining to improve people's lives. Excellent. Well, I hope that that gave you a little bit of an insight of where we operate in the world, like you saw in the video, we're everywhere. Uh, in Australia, we have coal, we have metallurgical coal business. So basically, you know, like we said, we exist to make a real difference for everybody whose lives we touch. So what we do is we, we mine the materials that make the modern life possible in ways that are safer, smarter, and more responsible. We have been operating in Australia since the year 2000, producing the highest quality coking coal from five operations based in central Queensland's Bowen Basin. The reason why I like to make that distinction that we um, produce coking coal is because we had thermal coal in the past, both, both in South Africa and in Australia. We divested the Australian um, thermal coal assets probably eight years ago and two years ago we divested the South Africa coal operation as well so at the moment we have coking coal which is the coal that we call metallurgical coal that you mix with iron ore to make steel so where are we we've got obviously um, corporate offices in Brisbane and then we operate in the call, we call it the three M's, Middle Mount, Moromba, and Maura. And also, like I said, we have Tumblr Ridge in Canada, but it's um, it's currently in care and maintenance. So we have Cup Coal Open Cut in Middle Mount. We got the coal handling and preparation plant. We also have a um, Aquila Underground Mine and Grass Tree Underground Mine as well. In Moromba, we have Moromba North. Grovna and the um, CHPP or the coal handling preparation plant. Both um, Moramba North and Grovna are underground mines. And in Maura, we got Dawson, which is open cut mine. We actually call it Awesome Dawson and the CHPP as well. So as you can see on the, um, will be your right hand side of the screen, you can see um, a long wall and also an open cut mine. So these are in our operations. So I'm going to hand over to Bree 
to talk about graduate recruitment because she's actually the recruiter in charge of a graduate program. So Bree, I'll leave it up to you now. Thanks, Romy. So firstly, just running through the recruitment process. So applications are open now. They're open until the 27th of March. So firstly, it'll be submit your online application via the careers website. We will then um, invite candidates to the game-based assessment and video interview. So this will be done online. We then move to the phone interview uh, where one of the recruiters, myself, will be calling to conduct the phone interview. And then hopefully uh, a face-to-face -face assessment centre, but if not, um, it'll be done virtually. Background, pre-employment checks, and then the offer. Cool. Um, so most of the positions are site-based, uh, relocation packages are available, uh, and we'll help with um, sorting out accommodation and things like that in our rural towns. Next page, thank you. Yeah, so uh, the graduate program starting in January 2023, uh, a few key points to highlight are it's a permanent contract. It's a two to three year development journey. So two years um, at first, and then the third is, am I correct in saying optional or? I'll talk about that in, in, the, next, um, in the next slide, but yeah, it could be two or three years. Yeah. Perfect. Um, the rotation, so you'll um, be uh, lo uh, located at uh, Open Cut Mine and then an underground mine and potentially the wash plant. Um, attractive re remuneration package, structured mentoring program, and multiple training courses included, including leadership development. So we're looking for 12 different disciplines for 2023. Um, they're all displayed on the right hand side. So accounting, safety, health and hygiene, environment and sustainable development, geosciences, mining engineer, geotechnical engineer, surveying, mineral processing, chemical engineering. So that will be based in the wash plant, uh, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering and data analytics. And what's important about data analytics as well is that um, we would be doing a separate um, assessment center or, or a coding test for the data analytics. So it's, I think it's one of the most exciting jobs that we, that we have at the moment as well. For sure. All right. So Brie, who should apply for a graduate program? So we're looking for um, have, have a degree or a post uh, postgraduate degree, honours or masters. We are looking for um, the disciplines, as I mentioned before, strong, well-rounded individuals. So people who um, get involved and want to learn and put themselves out there, team players. Um, and we definitely want people with potential to be leaders within the business. Um, we also are looking for uh, demonstrated drive, ambition, and passion to work for Anglo-Americans. So it's really showing an interest in what we do and less than two years of work experience in their discipline. Yeah, and, and I'm going to make a, a note about that. The reason why we want you to have less than two years of working experience is because we put you through this. <laughs> so I know it, this is a very um, busy slide, but this is what we offer our graduates across the world. So this is what we call a graduate development framework or a graduate development journey. The purpose of this is we want to build technically competent professionals through a consistent structured graduate learning journey. Why am I making emphasis on that? Because the same graduate program that you as an engineer, as a geologist, as an accountant, are going to go through here in Australia, is the same graduate development journey that an engineer, a geologist, or, a, or an accountant is going to have in South Africa, in Chile, in Peru, in Canada, in the UK, in Singapore, China. So everybody goes through the same journey. So what we offer our graduates is it's a world-class benchmark plus graduate program. It's a very structured and consistent development journey. Obviously, you are going to have experiential learning because that's actually at the heart of the discipline. It's supported by effective line manager coaching. And, um, and also we have something called a learning academy that I'll talk to, to briefly about. So we have... Um, a lot of learning content on our learning academy and you're going to go through digital 
safe paced and self-directed learning. We are going to give you feedback at each step of the way, and you are going to have the, the um, opportunity to have peer-to-peer -peer networks. Uh, we also give you fun and interactive engagements with not only other graduates, but your line managers as well. And we do this, I'm pretty sure that you heard that everybody on this call today talked about a 70-20-10. So that's basically what we are offering as well. So 70% on the job learning, 20% of um, formal training as well. This is going to be done through our Learn Plus and our um, leadership Academy. And also we got 10% of coaching and networking. So the reason why Brie mentioned that it's a two to three year graduate journey is because this is your structure for the first two years. At the end of this journey, you have the opportunity to go through what we call a stretch opportunity. So a stretch opportunity is basically one year doing something different. So it could be uh, working in a different commodity. It could be if you have a double degree, let's say you are a mining engineer with um, economics um, degree. So you, you've been working for two years as a mining engineer. So your stretch opportunity could be working for one year in economics or finance, or it could be working in the marketing team, or it could be whatever it is that you, know, you, want, you, feel, you want to feel stretched about. Obviously, we are recruiting for Australia. So your graduate recruitment development will be in Australia. If your stretch opportunity, you want to look at other commodities, that's obviously not possible in Australia. So you have to go through to another country, which could be Canada, South Africa, Peru, Chile. You know, it's, it's really up to you and what is available at the time. To give you some examples, we have we have had um, graduates from South Africa coming to Australia, graduates from South Africa going to Peru, uh, to Chile, graduates from Chile coming to Australia. So we do move our graduates around the world. So I hope that this is exciting for you. Um, I hope that you really want to join our graduate program and we really look forward to seeing if you have any questions for us. I don't see any questions at the moment. As I said, I think the uh, I think the students are questioned out towards the uh, towards the end of the fairs. Um, but if there is any any specific questions um, that any of the grads want to ask throughout the next presentation, um, uh, Ramina and Bree can still answer those um, directly as well. Um, yes. But we've got a couple of minutes. I mean, is there anything that um, outside of I guess putting your best foot forward? Because I think we've talked about that quite enough. Like, is there anything that do you think? students should learn like, or understand about like the mining oil and gas industry that they potentially wouldn't have already? To, to, if I can talk about my experience, like oh. I said, I was actually a, a geologist in my previous life. I worked in Argentina as a geologist. I came to Australia. I worked as a geologist. And then I started working in recruitment because I love people and I love, you know, just being in touch with, with people with other um of giving the opportunity to other people, right? And then when Anglo-American approached me for a job, this is four years ago, I thought, yeah, you know, like I, I didn't know much about Anglo because in Australia we're not that well known, but I, I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a go. So in the four years that I have been with Anglo, I have changed four times of jobs. Each time that I changed job is because I was internally promoted to something bigger and better. Um, I've traveled in... The first year that I've been with my current role, I travel eight times to South Africa, twice to Chile, uh, twice to Peru, once to Brazil, twice to Argentina, all of that with work. So there are so many opportunities out there for, for graduates around the world. You know, there, are, there is so much that you could do. So in your application, you know, when you're looking for companies, just make sure that you research what is there for you? Now, because we're, we will tell you, you know, that we're amazing. Every, every company will tell you the same. So you need to make sure that you align with the company's values, make sure that that's where you want to be. And the world is your oyster, guys. Like there are so many opportunities out there. Brilliant. Thank you very much. We've just seen a question come through. We are out of time. Um, 
If you just want to put that question in the Q&A function and then Ramina or Bree can answer that question directly as well. But Ramina, Bree, thanks so much for your time. Ramina, you've been on the call for nearly three hours now. Um, so <laughs> thanks so much for your time today. Um, yeah, and really, really happy you got the, got the opportunity to present your, your ideas and your advice to students.